seen anything. I was kind of letting everything load. I wasn't sure if anything in the background was going. Well, we'll find out if they did any UI thing in here. We, we can see it in here. Uh, da, 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 da. He can acquire soul fragments. Soul fragments can also enhance his damage. So his passive, uh, you can acquire soul fragments, which increases his damage. Uh, Fairmus can now move through terrain in a shadow state. Dude, he can go through walls in a shadow state. Could he do that before? Uh, with optimized casting experience and range, Fairmus can now hit enemies more easily and at a longer distance. He can transform his surroundings into another realm, granting affected heroes, including himself, extra HP and a chance to cheat death. Uh, I'm going to hit the whole patch notes. I'm going to hit them all. Uh, Lamont, so the hero feature, a fearless and loyal knight designed to dominate mid to late game. Liam Ward's launching with new skill animations and special effects, as well as enhanced damage for optimal mid to late game performance. So it looks like they kind of just like increased his mid to late, kind of changed again his animations and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't, the, the near, the necro keep, that's going to be insane. Um... We lowered the requirement for Liam Mord to launch critical strikes while increasing his damage and lifesteal. Dude, I think he's going to be nasty. With optimizing casting experience, Liam Mord can now cast this skill more frequently while dealing higher damage. I'm going to have to definitely try him out in the, in the side lane. All right, here's uh, some... They buffed Terizla. Okay. Uh, so this patch includes adjustments for Terizla, Gord, Xavier, Nana, Lunox, Julian, Akai, Ling, and Ithriel. So maybe we'll, we'll find out here, but I'm guessing they probably nerfed Akai, Ling, and Ithriel. Probably Julian as well. May, I think they even maybe even did something to Nana. We'll find out here. Terizla's mobility and crowd control. We expect him to nail down an even bigger role in mid to late game. That's insane, dude. Teresa actually won our uh, our one uh, our our uh, we actually checked out Vexana. We checked out Vexana. I'll post I'll I'll post a little snippet of this video later on YouTube and stuff so you guys uh like can review the hero review and everything like that. Dude, thanks to Cal for streaming the update because I literally got kicked out while playing. Dang. We'll we'll get we'll get down to Nana. Let me let me uh let me finish this real fast. Um. So, Teresla, new effect. The skill can no longer be interrupted by... Oh, my. Uh, except for suppression. So, Franco can still stop uh, his S2. Hey, calm down, but I'm I'm reading I'm reading notes. Uh, his ultimate base damage. His ultimate got increased for the late game. Slow effect. Oof. Casting range and jump speed increased. I think Teresla might be nasty. Gord, we're granting Gord an enhanced passive coupled with a freshly optimized control experience, allowing him greater mobility during still skill casting. Uh, so his passive, his passive got, essentially it looked like he, he kind of got like, you know, not buffed, but Gord's movement is no longer interrupted by skill one and two cast. I think that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. So he can like literally, he can literally cast his S2 and S1 with while moving. Xavier to help Xavier trans transcend his dependence on passive stacks. We're slightly reducing their extra damage while shifting the spotlight onto his active skills. His damage at different numbers of stacks is basically unchanged. Uh, so they nerfed his passive but increased. That, man, I don't I don't think they really nerfed maybe I mean maybe but I don't even know if that actually do anything to him with just affecting his uh cuz they I mean they literally They increased the power of his skill one two and his ultimate Like his ultimate was already strong, bro And not I mean you only what you only reduced it by 10% uh, but you increased the magical power of his S1 by 10%. You increased his S2 by 5% early. And then the subs that like, I mean, that that's, that's 10, that's 15, that's like 23. And then look, they upped the magical power of his ultimate by 12%. Like that's almost a, a 30, like a 34% increase on magical power between all of his skills. 
with a 10% nerf to his extra damage per stack. I mean, I, I guess depending on, I, I don't know what his stack size is. Nana, everybody's been looking forward to Nana here. Our efforts to fine tune this cute little maid continues. Nana of Boomerang gets a slightly boost while her Melina and Ultimate gets a few minor adjustments. Casting range slightly increased, really. Four swing slightly reduced, skill range slightly reduced. I wonder what the I, I felt like her her uh, teddy bear was always like like the skill range was always way too big. Also look at that I looked at the talent system and it, it seemed like the same talents, but we'll see in the notes here. Lunox, we're awakening Lunox cosmetic power cosmic, not cosmetic, cosmic power to help her better counter high HP enemies in this new meta. Uh damage. I mean they just kind of buffed it. Oh, they changed it to two Ooh, I think Lunox might be a, a a tank killer now. Damage bonus 130% magic plus one point target. Uh, I mean, they just they only did it a little bit. They nerfed her magic power, but increased her uh, her damage to more HP. I mean, it's like meh. They they kind of they kind of nerfed uh, Nana. Like the ultimate, I didn't even read her ultimate. Casting experience optimized. The delay before the first attack is shortened while the intervals between the two attacks are slightly increased. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I think I think with a couple percent change, uh Lunox might start shredding tanks again. Julian, geez, Julian. Uh left unfeathered. I don't even feathered her. I don't even know what that word is. Julian's arsenal of weapons have proved to be dreadful lethal. We're nerfing his overall sustainability and base damage to allow opponents better room for counterplays. This spell vamp, a 5% decrease. Reduce the life steal efficiency to match that of other AoE skills. Uh, initial attack base damage got nerfed quite a bit too. What that's 40%? Oof. 40, 4, not 40%, 40. 40 in the early. And then it's like literally like seven seven uh 70 in the in the late a kai his passive uh his passive got nerfed his ultimate his oh geez his ultimate got a huge a 10 second a 10 second increase that's insane 10 seconds is a lot uh but they reduced the damage bonus so five so if his passive so that might they might shut him down Ling with his enhanced critical power. Ling's been posing too high of a threat to low HP enemies. We're lowering his base damage to give victims a chance to get away. Uh, so 300 to 400. So they, they nerfed it by 50. 50 points, jeez. And an 8% physical uh, oof. Uh, Ithriel and Leo have just been piercing through enemies. So we're scaling back her... Attack growth to give other heroes time to catch up. Oh my god, that attack growth was that's a that's a, a sizable nerf three. Hey, bro, let's go. I mean, it's not like anything like super crazy, but uh, Lo Yi, uh, she she got a um, her ultimate uh, cooldown time got reduced. I I always use her ultimate a lot, so uh, it's pretty cool. So I'll probably be jumping around the map like a loon. Uh, Jawhead got a buff. What in the world? We might see some Jawhead plays. I, I mean, it's a it's a little it's a little uh, buff. It's just his base damage. I wouldn't say he'd be he's gonna be tanking. Maybe a jaw. Uh, maybe a jungle and side lane. Edith 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 got a, a buff. Jeez, she actually got a huge buff. That's a fifteen. Her passive. Hold on, Manny. Come on now. I'm reading notes. Uh, her extra damage would be. Went from 90 to 105 and 15 to 17. I think Edith might be a, a trouble. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a mage user. Natan. Dude, we seen a Natan literally almost solo a base last night. Hold on here. What, who, why are they inviting me to a tournament? Who the fuck is this, bro? Oh, SPLM? I don't want no nobody on our team. All right, hold on here. We're gonna we're gonna finish these notes real fast. All right, so Natan, uh, he'll be slicey. He got to increase the power. He got a sizable twenty five early, fifty late. So that's that's crazy. 
this late game is probably gonna smack people in the in the marksman okay we already paquito got a got an increase dang this physical power of his s2 got a 15 percent dude paquito is gonna be jabbing some people all right new skins cool 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 uh da, 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 da. the the grand collection the low yeast skin i can't wait for that uh free heroes cool i don't care about oh just saucy minions by adjusting the composition size of mid lane uh minion waves we expect mage heroes to be able to push and roam more easily what does that even mean by adjusting the composition of mid lane minion waves what is what does that even mean like is it like mid lane minions don't come out as fast each mid lane minion wave oh it's right here each minion min uh blah, blah, blah. each mid lane minion wave in the first five minutes is now composed of four minions one melee three ranged and instead of three one oh there's no cannon there's no cannon minion in mid bro what oh what mid lane bro shout out to mages <clears throat> gonna need that nana starlight all right jungle jungle enhancement one laning heroes have typically typically shared minion rewards with allied junglers affecting the rate at which they level up we expect this recent adjustment to address this first five minutes heroes equipped with retribution can no longer gain gold from xp and xp from minions when there are allied heroes without the roaming fit footwear around Reduce minion rewards from 30. Oh. Oh, from 50 to 30. That's a weird way to put that. Uh, following the above adjustments, we noticed a couple of uh, extreme cases where disadvantaged junglers fell way behind within the first five minutes. So we're also introducing a way for them to catch up. New mechanic. When a junk... Mofo, I'm gonna... I'm gonna literally kill one of you guys. Stop it. I'm trying to read the notes. We, uh, we want both sides to have a fair, fair chance in the fight over the turtle and the Lord. Retribution damage against creeps is no longer affected by damage boosting effects. So that means if they are keeping... Yeah, there's four minions in, in mid lane instead of three. And there's no canyon minion. So like the siege minion is no longer there in mid lane. That's crazy. Why my... Why'd my YouTube go off offline? Uh, no, it, it just like refreshed for some reason. All right, back to what I was saying. Uh, so retribution doesn't get a damage increase now. Orange and purple buffs. We want to help junglers uh, better handle jungle invasions, especially when the invaders can knock or drag the creep out of leash range. New effect when out of leash range for the first time, the creep gains a 50% extra movement speed until it moves back into range. New effect after moving back in the range the creep will also stop recovering hp and re-enter the battle state upon taking damage that's crazy that is gonna be so like that's gonna stop so much of the invading and like the the ability to like completely shut down jungles um only for the first time it's only for the first time so it comes back after like so like the initial start of a jungle is still roughly the same by adjusting the first time, uh, da, 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 by adjusting the time of the first spawn, we expect the generators will be able to farm more safely if the, oh, so, jeez. Yeah, there's no, uh, no damage boost from Retri. Jungle Emblem is definitely probably dead now. Uh, but also they increased the spawn rate of, uh, the jungle. Uh, so it looks like. At least I'm, I'm guessing the blue and the red buff is going to be spawning five seconds faster than normal. The Lither Wonder. By adjusting the time of the first spawn, we expect that more mid laners will be also to join the fight over the creep. The first, they increased the first. Oh, no, they decreased the first uh, spawn of uh, the Lither Wonder as well. Here we go. We got equipment here. Uh, Bloody Retry. Uh, our, our March season launch favored the rise of the tank jungler trend. And we're hoping this adjustment improves the battlefield experience for other jungler types. Extra HP bonus. Oh, they nerfed. Bloody Rhett doesn't give you extra HP anymore. Gee, can you check fragment skin choice? I can check that as well. 
Uh, there we're lowering blade armor's reflection damage to make it less of a solid counter against marksmen's. They lowered it by five percent and then fifty points. Oh, the craft cost. That's interesting. Uh, radiant armor to ease some of the radiant armor's glaring power in the battlefield. We're restricting its late game power, but balancing out with a lower craft cost. Uh, damage reduction. Uh, so it's early. It's early. Uh, it's three to ten. Oh no, it went from what? They sometimes like these notes are a little weird because like it says they the damage reduction. I guess it, it's going from three to ten to five to eight. So they like lowered it. Uh, Athena Shield. Athena Shield has been a prim premier choice across all play levels. We're nerfing its effect to bring it in line with other defensive options. The duration. They nerfed that by a lot. Glowing Wand got a buff, bro. We noticed that Glowing Wand often waves in the face of high defense enemies. So we're raising the upper limits of its burn damage, but making it a tad bit harder to unleash its full power. Burn damage, 1% to 2% HP at 1% to 3 stacks. Uh, it's going to... I, I guess it used to be... I don't know. They, they, again, they make this like really weird... Like, was it 1 to 2, and now it's 0. 0.5 to 2.5? I don't know. They're weird. Oh, Genius Wand got a nerf. So, Glowing Wand. Glowing Wand's burns are going to be crazy. That's what I use on low Yi a lot. Uh, Genius Wand providing both magic penetration and magic defense reduction. Genius Wand uh, has been a bane to squishy heroes in the battlefield. We're hoping to fix this and make it less to go to for all mages. Magic defense reduction. Uh, da, 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 da. so they reduced like from two to nine to three to seven blood wings. Ooh, for most mages, the extra durability provided by blood wings can hardly turn the tide in the battle or buffing its magic power to match its cost. Wow. That's in, that's a, that's a huge, that's 25 points of geez. Blood wings might, uh, might be a go-to for mages again. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think any of this uh, really optimized the indicators of some heroes movement skills So they're now consistent with heroes Actual destinations Affected hero Lapu Lapu, Gata, Guinevere, Teruzla, Savannah, and Khalid Optimize the skill range indicators for all heroes uh, da, 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 da. Optimize some battle spell icons Ranked uh, Season 4 who reached Master I will receive Grok Nah, 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 nah. Report system. Edder, extra credit points deducted due to players' reports are now informed within an hour. During this period, you can report players via the match history, optimize the report. You can now see how followers found you on the followers list up to 100 new. Nah, 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 nah. Friends' nicknames are displayed in more places. Uh, battlefield. I don't I don't think I see anything. Yeah, they didn't do the 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 emblem or the they didn't do anything with emblems this patch. Uh, fixed an issue with the base turrets. Defense skills could be triggered after 12 minutes in certain cases. Fixed in the... Da, 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 whatever. These are just kind of like... Eh. Fixed an issue where the amount of XP gained from the metal crest was different than stated. Yeah. So they that's all of the patch notes. Uh, again, I, I looked at it in the very beginning. I didn't see... Uh, the new, the new ML gameplay looks whack. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't, I haven't done anything. 